Hello and welcome to the AI Impact Customer Showcase. I'm joined here today by Mariusz from Kingwin. Mariusz, will you please introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. My name is Mariusz Jagodziński. I'm head of data and analytics uh, in Kingwin. Um, Kingwin focused on uh, providing the best uh, offer of digital version of video games on our e-commerce platform Kingwin.net. So we are a company who are linking pin of the merchants with the customers who are seeking for the best deal. What was the main motivation to start your AI journey? Yeah, so first of all, uh, we do not want to miss the train, yes? Uh, but on the other hand, uh, we want to use the proper level of the enthusiasm of the AI. So in short words, we would like to implement and use design AI-based solution in the areas when it makes sense not because the technical aspects and components uh, relies on AI or LLM components. It's great. Uh, so what, what were some of the key use cases or the key problem statements that you were looking at or um, evaluating across the company that you decided to focus on? Yeah, so we have many, frankly speaking, hundreds. Yes, because we started our journey from uh, writing the all ideas what we as a data analytics team sees but also we ask our colleagues from all departments what they about their ideas yes of uh, using the ai one example is uh, building some kind of uh, automations based on data link uh, data joining from our internal sources and external, when from technical point of view, that two sets of the data are not uh, mergeable. It's not possible to join. But based on implementing the modern Gemini suit uh, AI engines, no code solution can be implemented within one, two weeks, which is great. As a AI Impact Award recipient, one of the use cases that you decided to focus on was helping uh, was helping to enable uh, employees. You built an employee agent. C can you describe a little bit about what the before and after of that was like? Yes. Yeah, so so you touch a, a very important point for us. So treating AI uh, technology as an enabler. Yes. So uh, in that case, uh, after gathering a lot of great ideas from the organization, we started to focus on doing some kind of uh, research, POC, or, or, or shortly implementing some small part of it. And we face it with, with some kind of uh, uh, risk or, or uh, not proper awareness of our colleagues or, or simply threat that uh, AI-based solution were cost to the situation that they will need to focus on finding a job in another company. So shortly, they, they job, they daily activities will be automated by AI, which is not right from the perspective of the company strategy goals. And the AI-based solu uh, solutions are selective uh, can, can be used for automate the selection or, or some part of the process executed by the human. Yes. So the main benefit is synergy and summing the all small pieces of automation together. Can you describe some of the uh, practical use cases that uh, change like the workflow for for employees in the in the uh, company? Whether it was like searching for like uh, information or. Like, like how, like, what was the customer, what was the customer experience like for the, for the people in your company that were, that were using these agents? Yes. Yeah, so AI agents, uh, help us or, or we treating it as additional channel, for example, uh, which is treated as access to knowledge database. So for example, in the customer support team, uh, the AI agents significantly allows decreasing the the time for a customer support specialist 
uh, to confirm some exact element of, of the procedure, exact part of the procedure. Example, customer refund. Customer asked us to provide, because of many reasons, a refund. And there are specific conditions dependent on product group, product type, even the date when initial purchase order was uh, created, yes, which triggers the end uh, answer if refund can or cannot be processed, and if yes, what are the exact details, yes. And before introduction, the agent, the, the whole knowledge about the procedure and details of execution such operations were spread across few places in our organization uh, so technical data storages and right now after typing the proper prompt the answer is within a few seconds amazing so, so how did you measure success in this in, the, in this in, in this use case <laughs> so uh, i would say we have two vectors of the success first is more measurable uh, which is represented uh, by, for example, measuring uh, two types of the benefits. Uh, first one related to performance and time, so execution or amount of the resources uh, required to uh, perform particular uh, process or, or, or time box on the process. A set, uh, and second one, which is uh, more difficult to measure, is the internal and external satisfaction, yes? Because one thing is data, is uh, everything which is related to metric, how fast the execution of the prop, uh, particular process uh, is. But second is internal and external satisfaction because one of the main uh, motivation or, or uh, objective what I'm trying to implement and spread across the organization is increase the level of the satisfaction, personal interest or possibility to use AI within daily work. Because if we have more fun during execution of our daily task and, and simply doing the job, everything will be better for customer, us and our colleagues. Amazing. So it, it's about, it's about, you described first, being very open within the within the organization, trying to like ask the organization like like what are the key problems you want to solve, building some trust um, up and down the uh, the uh, chain of command within the company, understanding what are the key use cases from them, um, and aligning that to customer satisfaction scores, not not just to the external customer but to the internal customer as well. Um, what uh, so many things to choose from. What why did you choose Vertex AI in this in this case? What were the main reasons for this decision? First reason is simplicity, and secondly, very high uh, number of the benefits due to synergy with our existing uh, processes or, or architecture of the platform. Yes, because almost 100% of our transactional uh, system components, so the, the heart of it is Kubernetes, in, is based on Google Cloud Platform. So decision about using Vertex AI allows us to implement seamless integration, uh, which is counted sometimes in minutes, yes? And second, uh, or third one, very big benefit is, is uh, safe, environment with very good suite but of control from the organization perspective and flexibility in terms of the usage it by our colleagues from for example operations amazing so now that you kicked off these uh, initial POCs in the in the company what's next what, what does the future hold for you yeah, so shortly we are going to continue so we would like to continue the journey and uh, do the same things but uh, more and better uh, because uh, production implementation or, or first phase of it was happened a couple of weeks ago so this is the very fresh in terms of some kind of vision what i would say uh, for, for next year is uh, treating AI agent as additional channel for data access 
we have very advanced analytics which is based on Looker, so this is business intelligence service. And we have more and more data components and having possibility to ask our agent uh, for, for example, correlation of one part of the analytics, let's say sales, with the marketing and have the result within a few seconds is amazing. From the data perspective, linking that two business area is not easy. Amazing. So thinking about how you can not just expand uh, the use cases, but how you can make the use cases applicable across the organization. Amazing. Um, leveraging everything that you've learned so far, like in your in your in your journey here, what would be the the key takeaways for a decision maker to take to start implementing a POC or a solution in the next thirty days? Yeah. So, firstly, uh, prepare some ch choose the low hanging fruit. I know that this is the common term, but I, I do not have any better idea which came to my mind. Yes. So start something uh, which result with high number of the benefits benefits can be countable or can be uh, related to this this personal and company expression about the capabilities of the ai and do something even small part present something and my second advice and takeaway is invite colleagues from the other department to be a part of this development stage and thanks thanks to vertex ai we have a few uh, ways of creating the new uh, agents based on the no code solution which is great amazing so starting simple look at a very simple business case um and this idea of like keeping it cross functional like invite cross-functional teams across the business to understand how the use case could make sense, gain some feedback from them. Um, you touched you touched a bit on um, the adoption curve, like like how, how to earn trust with the organization, how to educate the organization on, on the benefits of how AI can improve the business case, um, as well, uh, of, of course, like how it can ad advance the workflow. I, I did want to ask you, like, what were some of the components that you, you used to help educate the organization, especially where there may have been some kind of resistance? What were some of the strategies that you implemented and you would recommend? So the components I would say is some kind of organic work based on the meeting, awareness uh, meetings, uh, awareness session at the company level, uh, daily cooperation with the leaders, enthusiasm and people uh, spread it across the organization who are really keen to use this new piece of technology yes and based on some iterations increase awareness perform some piece of the solution check the result and start again excellent Marius, thank you so much for joining us today thank, thank you very much you.